All right, so the sketchy shit just happened right now. So all that was like, covered in snow. So as soon as I step on that shit, guess what? Caved in. And luckily, if you can see there's like a tree down there, a fallen tree or something, um, that saved me. Otherwise, you can hear the water down there. The water's rushing down there. That would not have been good. All right, so I made it to Lake 2. It looks a lot brighter than it actually is. It's freaking dark already. It's 5.40 almost. And that was the most physically demanding hike I've done in a long time, actually. I found this little spot somewhat flat on snow, and I'm just gonna set up my tent here like ASAP because it's getting dark. Hey guys, it's about 2 a.m. and I actually had to get out and stake the corners and also stake the curtains on the side because can you hear the wind? It's howling and the tent was like literally just about to update 7.45 a.m. Look at that. I'm gonna have to ride out the storm and I'm gonna wait at least till about 9. guys I'm packed up but that was one of my quickest <laughs> camp breakdowns in a while but check out the uh, lake couldn't really see it yesterday when I got here but it is frozen solid that second lake I'll be back to get it with you see all the nice and blue turquoise waters All right guys, so I finally made it down. You don't know what a giant relief it is to see my car right there. This was one of the most physically and mentally challenging things I've done. Man, but I'm glad it's over and I can say I did it.